Kraken, did they not? Oh no, Super Noon fought Tadazi, so he's, he's gonna yeah. fight both of our Hisako players, our resident throw spammers, if you will, and it's gonna be full war and it's gonna be Hisako. Now let's see if uh, Super Noon has made any adjustments since then, thinking about that first match with Tadazi. Yeah, and if you're Super Noon, you know, despite being in the loser's bracket, you got to feel good about the fact that the person that knocked you into the loser's bracket is the one that made it all the way through to the end of the winner's bracket uh, and is sitting pretty in grand finals. That's at least a nice confident boost, uh, you know, to your self-esteem here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so here we go, Super Noon, with a little bit of a life lead here. He has his first pit built. Uh, the best tool that Fulgore can use in this matchup against Asako is definitely the medium punch eye lasers because of the distance that they cover. She stop, it's, It stops her from dashing, and if she's in the air when Fulgore does it and he has a pip, it is an automatic DP every single time if he reacts to it. So it's very hard for Asako to get in once Fulgore gets going. Now you're talking about pips, and I'm, I'm seeing that Fulgore doesn't have a traditional shadow meter. It's, it's just, it's, I see a reactor meter. Yes, it's like, reactor like a gauge. Little bit. Yeah, so those little bars that he has, those little squares, we refer to those in the community as pips. And okay. uh, so he gets 10 pips total uh, that he can fill up on his reactor gauge. Um, four pips at a time equals one, is the equivalent of one shadow bar. So he has six pips right now, which means he has a bar and a half of meter. So he can use a shadow move, and then he has an extra pip later to cancel with. Um, so now he's got, you know, six pips total. And he could have actually done something about that. And with, with the way Full Gore's meter works, he, it regenerates over time. Yes, it's time-based. And the more he gets hit, the, the, the slower it goes. And the more he does hits, physical hits, uh, the faster it goes. But if he uses his teleport, his lasers, or his fireballs, it will slow down. Now that was a straight charge. Now that's straight charging punch that's not safe that blade it? dash is not technically safe no hasako can punish it with a with a command grab or she could just parry it on reaction slowing down time Sparks up. now what does fulgore's instinct uh give him access fulgore to? gives uh his instinct allows him to pip cancel without spending pips so as long as he have the as long as he has at least one pip he can continuously pip cancel any of his uh special moves wow super new looking so good here Oh, stayed in the front, and the second one crossed up. That was disgusting. Super New takes the first game. Smart stuff there. Yeah, so instead of going for the regular teleport that goes to the other side, which we've been seeing Super Noon doing uh, pretty much this whole tournament, uh, I think that's the first time I saw Super Noon staying on the on the same side just to kind of throw off the opponent. He flipped the script, and it got him that game. That was incre what an cr incredible adjustment for Super Noon uh, on the mix-ups there. He, he's been going behind every single time. That was really, really good to see. Incredible stuff. Um, all right, so Foxy has something to think about now. Now he's got to fear the fireball ended up on either side. And then once he blocks it, he has to worry about what the hell Fulgore's going to do after that because he has a very fast low. He's got an overhead. He can neutral jump. He can throw. He can dance. He can do whatever he wants. It, uh, sounds impressive. It How's is that very fair? impressive. <laughs> how, is it, how is it fair? Uh, we don't really think it is. Everybody just has something that's similar to it in this game. Um, that's kind of the whole point, is that we don't we don't want fair. We just want chaotic harmony. Fair is not fun. Nobody likes fair. Nobody likes yeah, fun. Yeah. No, no, or nobody likes that? not fun. <laughs> okay, wow, the cross-up low laser. So he teleported behind and went straight into a low laser. Um, that was actually, like, super ambiguous because he was also invisible when he did it. Ooh, jumping out of there. That move is tough for Fulgor to deal with because he has to cross-cut DP it to actually anti-air it. Big break on the heavy autos. Yeah, it's just kind of purely recognition here at this point. And uh, I, Ooh, I like big it. shimmy! So he uh, found the combo with Hasako Airborne, so that's kind of why he altered the combo or altered the combo route there. Yeah, exactly. As Noon stayed there in the front yet again and punished him with that uh, combo off the fireball. Noon is looking immaculate right now. These jumps! Is this Sidira or is this Fulgor? Okay, the medium auto double recognized and broken. Noon goes behind and gets the grab. I was gonna say good block until that low opener. Okay, up. throw a reset off the heavy auto double. 
Blocks the overhead into the low, and then he's safe. Because he needs it. Don't tell me otherwise. Because <laughs> he needs it. He needs it. He does. Dot com. Okay, the scoops. Ben and Jerry's. Double scoops. And that's going to take the life bar. All right, Foxy showing signs of life here. I think full guard just, like, falls. <laughs> After yeah, he was all done. Ooh, that's going to be meaty. Yep. And we're straight into the heavy auto doubles. Broken. Okay, finds the hit. Throw reset. Low reset, Foxy. Big damage incoming. This is going to give him the life lead. It's a big lockout, too. Especially huge opportunity for Foxy Grandpa. Left in a standing position. And a reversal Thro throw there. Thrown out of the, yeah, thrown out of the reset. Oh, oh no! Into the ultra! Didn't that was not what Foxy wanted to happen in the slightest. He got mixed mid-screen er, while he was in the corner, and Super Newton just came in and comboed off the fireball. That's yeah. uh, that's Fulgore in a nutshell. I thought it was very smart of Super Noon to, you know, take that opportunity. As soon as he saw the opening, just got out of the corner, got better spacing, got better, you know, space control, space situation, and, uh, you know, was able to just kind of keep going with that mix going in for those projectiles and then switching over um right. it, now is this is this working a lot in this matchup because you know hosako is a little bit more immobile yeah definitely yeah that's, that's what i said earlier is that the projectile lockdown is a huge key element of defeating hosako for characters that don't have that um good luck <laughs> i don't really know how else to fight the character really because i mean i that's what i've been doing to her for years and sometimes that doesn't even work so uh, if it's working now for uh, for Super Noon, he's, he's he's definitely doing something right because um, Foxy clearly knows how to play this character. He would not have made it into losers finals other or losers semis other otherwise, and uh, showing that he really knows how to play this character. But dealing with Fulgore is a whole different beast, man. All right, Foxy getting the start here, and uh, you know not taking too many risks, getting a good combo, and that was a beautiful bait there, the uppercut. Right, that uppercut actually, believe it or not, was not fully invincible because he used the heavy DP, the one that hits three times. The heavy and the medium one are not fully invincible at all. Um, the light, the light DP that only hits once is fully invincible. I don't know if Super New knows that or not. I think you're downplaying. So. Oh my God! <laughs> you're like actually, it's not as broken as. You I'm think just talking the facts here. <laughs> Uh, lock out what, here. what is uh, a fact is that Foxy just took that round very convincingly and showing more than, than signs of life. He's coming back from the dead. Hold on, but we've seen it. When Super Noon gets his projectiles going, it's, it seems oh, like it's wow. almost like... And the counter breaker! Oh, 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 read like a book. Read like a book. That was a good read and a good reaction from Foxy. Smart stuff here. Okay, attempting to break, not getting the right one. And uh, immediate DP here from uh, Super Noon. Kind of showing a little bit of frustration. Oh, he didn't see the grab because he was invisible. He could have command grabbed that. Now, what, she fell out of that combo really, really soon. Is that just because it, it, it's limited on you know, how much damage you can actually get from that setup? Wait, which one was it? There, there's so many situations happening so fast. These guys are not pumping the brakes at all. I missed it. <laughs> it's okay. I apologize. No worries, no worries. Down Heavy medium. breakers broken. Oh, he went for a throw. The medium kick was, uh, the crouching medium kick was, uh, right in his face. Foxy. We go for the hard knockdown. What's the setup? Just the command grab. This is definitely going to be enough to go into Ultra. And Foxy staying alive, taking it two to one with Super Noon. So there at the end, there was no, there was no scenario to break anything, correct? No, he got hit with that command grab. That was all unbreakable damage. It put him into a uh, danger where uh, she's able to restand you when she has full wrath meter off of that command grab. And since she restood him when he was in ultra and she was able to continue a combo, uh, excuse me, when he was in danger rather, um, he was able to pop ultra immediately. He didn't need to put any other uh, sort of options in there. I see. Okay. And then that's a that's a universal thing for every character. Once you get your opponent into danger, you do your ultra input, and uh, you can end the match that way. That's correct. Yeah, you need no further inputs after that. That'd be taking a risk. If you see that they're in danger, or you can uh, use your, I don't know, you can infer that they'll be in danger at the end of whatever move you're doing. Say they're right before danger, and you do heavy punch into a special move opener, and they, they, then the announcer says danger. You can do ultra right away without having to add any other linkers or auto doubles or manuals. 
That was a very good impression of the danger that I hear. I was just sad. <laughs> yeah, I've only, so I've only been playing this game for like six years, so <laughs> I would hope I know what he sounds like at least. All right, yeah. Foxy with the teleport into the crouching medium kick finds the hit. Man, grab here from Foxy Grandpa instead of going with some normals. A lot of fast dashing here from Hisako and finding the hit and again, incorrectly breaking. Uh, I see a lot of breaking uh, habits here from Super Noon. So I think Super Noon is just chill out just a little bit. Reversal DP, getting something going. All right, there's that medium laser. I like the spacing there with that down medium uh, kick. Very, very, just very simple. Very simple, yeah. hit low. It's good, man. It's really good. Both of these characters' crouching medium kicks are very good. All right, Super Noon, trying to bring it back here. Goes for the teleport into the low. Thank and you. nicely done. Foxy yep. by closing it out. There's a really, really big window there from Asako's jump, uh, jumping attack for her to like continue comboing. Good call out of the throw attempt from Super Noon, but Foxy Grandpa a step ahead, ready to break away. Correct. Well, I'm sorry, combo break. <laughs> I'm still saying. I knew what you meant. I cringed a little, but I knew what you meant. That's gonna be a DP, but he got no. It didn't come out. Super Noon, just input. This is huge damage for Foxy here. Is this gonna be enough to kill? No, he didn't spend the meter. The meter may have killed. Oh, and the big heavy DP wake up. Dash up throw. Super Noon. And the low laser is gonna connect. He has full reactor gauge. This means he has the fastest uh, back dash overall. And it's not gonna matter. This is gonna be unbreakable. And Foxy taking it to two to two over Super Noon. Didn't even get to use any of those pips that he had built up. Really good adaptation here from Foxy Grandpa. Really, really good adaptation. It's, again, it's, it's kind of like if Foxy's avoiding the scenarios because I'm not seeing so much in terms of, you know, the, the projectile mix up. Uh, Foxy doing a good job of, of understanding the throw habits of Super Noon. So I think Super Noon just kind of needs to mix it up a little bit and, and maybe, you know, find another way to get into that, uh, that projectile mix situation. What else can Fulgore do besides, uh, you know, the, the the throws that we've been seeing here? Is yeah, I mean, if you're, if you're looking to bait the parries, the throws are a good option, but it's also risky because you try to throw and she command grabs, command grabs beat normal throws in this game. So she can just, you know, if she thinks that Fulgore is going to go for a meaty throw, the command grab is going to be the best option there. Now, is that because uh, command grabs have... Um, you know, throwing vulnerable frames, or is it just because it's just like a, um, it just... I'm not really sure what exactly it is. All I know is they take priority over normal grabs. Okay. So it's probably just like purposely done that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. Wow. Foxy controlling the airspace and controlling the ground with these command grabs. He's going to be able to get a reset or a combo. Goes to a combo to a reset, and, and uh, good defense from Super Noon until he gets hit by that overhead. Foxy's going to be able to get a level four cash out after this and take this first life bar. That was a perfect. Yikes. Is Yikes. Foxy about to make this reverse 3 0 happen? Possibly, possibly. Hold on. The down immediate. Oh, not sure. It, it, there was a lock out there, a mistimed uh, combo break attempt from Foxy. Right. Oh, oh Super Nerd is just swinging. He is on the ropes right here, mashing DP out of resets. Yeah, Foxy uh, one step ahead of it, baiting it out. Ooh, Big jump on the command grab. Oh, no. And finds the counter hit combo off the trade. Foxy playing absolutely ridiculous right now. Staying alive. Super Noon hits the jump fierce off the neutral jump, but didn't convert off of it. Goes into a grab. Reset. Gets teched. Oh, what a big jump. This is it. This is it. Foxy's going to take it. 3-2 to two with a reverse 3-0 on Super Noon. And the ultimate for extra salt in the wound. What the? <laughs> what? what just? He's backwards. I just saw the inside. I just got to see what it looks like being full board. I have never seen that before, and she was, she's backwards on the screen right now too. I think that is that is uh that's kind of weird. Foxy is going to advance into losers finals where he will meet Beyond Toxin. Super Noon, thank you so much for playing. Um, wow, I can't believe what we just saw. Big shout out to Super Noon, man. That was uh that was uh, incredible. Um, you know, great great set.